everybody's got weird roommates. One of mine is from the future doing research for her grad degree. I just needed someone to split the rent. But now my living room is full of weapons and a time machine. Step into our apartment. Welcome to our world. It's just me and a Viking and future girl. I will never give up on our love, Cassandra. Though you betrayed me. Though you married another. Though you're my sister. And that, Edwin, is why I shall wear the crown. And you shall be dead! <laughs> Beat it, Edwin. That's what you get for loving your family. Good news, Em! Mm. You finally have your share of the water bill, Fury? Even better. Mm. I went back to ancient Rome, and I got us these plans for an aqueduct! <laughs> this will assure us free, limitless water, and with it, the same unending prosperity the Roman Empire enjoyed. Dude! I was wanted an aquabus! Mm -hmm. I don't think they let you build those anymore. Fascinating. See, learning little details like that is why my school, Emmett Brown University, requires anthropology students like me to spend some time living in the era that we study. So this does not bode well for my midterm on ancient 21st century zoning law. Hey, crown of betrayal, nacho bowl of good times, what are we celebrating? My boss told me I can take a vacation. That's great! How long? As long as I want. And you're getting paid? No, silly. I'm on permanent vacation. So you got fired? No, I... Oh, nuts. I suck at jobs. That's not true. You're great at getting fired from them. The day camp, the thrift shop, the comic book store, the dog grooming place, the bubblegum factory. Ugh, who am I kidding? I can't keep a job. I live in this crummy apartment and I barely hang out with anybody but you. Homemates! And that Viking warrior you brought to live with us. Observe! Horns! In my time, we Vikings did not wear horns, but surely we would have had we only just thought of it. Truly, your modern society is a wondrous place. I'm gonna go practice charging with these mighty adornments. Isn't she great? You know, you're right. I am a friendless loser who completely failed at being an adult and I should just give up. That's not what I said at all. But I do think I see your problem now. You've totally lost your self-confidence or what the scientific community of the future refers to as mojo. No, I'm coming from before. I'm gonna go home and live in my parents' basement like the failure baby. Uh, ow! Trust me, Em. You've just gotta get your mojo back. Em, stop what you're doing right now! Hey! Those were my clothes. Not anymore. Because you're about to reinvent yourself. It's the first and hopefully the last step in getting your mojo back. I would love to. You can't just press a button and reinvent yourself. Oh, what did you do? I just pressed the reinvention button on my multi. Oh. Ooh. Holy moly. You completely changed my hair. Reinvented. No, no, that, that is enough reinventing for today. No, th this won't do it all. Your mojo levels are still embarrassingly low. We're gonna have to try something else. Can I have my clothes back first? Oh no, they're gone forever. I don't know why I didn't try this in the first place, but science shows one of the best ways to increase mojo is to have your self-worth reinforced by people whose opinions you respect. And I know there's no one you respect more than Catman's brothers. So I fixed it so she can talk. <gasps> All right, Catman, tell Em how important she is to you. Where is my food dish? Where it always is. I have licked all of your belongings. Thank you. There are plentiful bugs here. There's what? I puked in your bed. I think she's made her point. So, finally feeling better about yourself? Did you hear the thing about the bugs? Okay, Em. I've definitely got the solution this time. Finally. Psychologists of the future 
have a foolproof therapeutic technique to treat confidence deficiencies like yours. Thank gosh. Proving yourself in combat against a deadly ninja assassin. What? Sadly, I couldn't find a ninja on short notice, but we do have this berserk Viking warrior. Steal yourself for glorious combat, motorless one. What's happening? You're getting treatment. Ah! I do not have confidence in that. I know. That's what we're fixing. What's that? It's my stuff. Where are you going? Um. I've spent all week trying to help you, but it didn't work. You're leaving anyway. I'm supposed to be studying this era, and I clearly don't understand you at all. I'm the one who sucks. No, Carrie. I took a reading last night, and the science confirms it. I lost my mojo too. So I'm taking a cue from you. I'm packing up, tucking my tail between my legs, and running back home like a failure baby. <laughs> Come on, Carrie. That's ridiculous. Can't give up because you failed a few times. But it's so hard. Well, of course it's hard. You just got here. It's only natural you're gonna make some mistakes. That's how we learn. From the time the caveman crawled out of the water onto the beaches of Normandy, only to realize they couldn't breathe air, to the astronauts who first set foot on the moon, only to discover there was no such thing as moonicorns. Humanity succeeds again and again by embracing failure! It is only by getting knocked down can we ever expect to pull ourselves back up! And by getting back up, are we in a position to get knocked down again? And it is in this getting knocked down and getting back up in this that we as humans find out what it truly means to be up and down and damn it, I think I just talked myself into staying! Yes! Yeah! <sighs> Was this your plan all along? Yes! And then we're on. There are such things as moonicorns. Mojo. Birds, 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 birds.